we decided that we needed to make some changes to the front bed. So originally this was a camper queen size bed and all of this had wood going around it and it was a different frame. The bed was uncomfortable to us. It just was not our style and we wanna be comfortable sleeping. So we ended up tearing out the original frame that was here and my husband added a new frame and we decided that we did not need all of that front storage that was only accessible by lifting up a very heavy piece of plywood, which like lifted up the mattress and then put the mattress back down. Or you could get to it from the two cubbies on the outside of the camper. We only needed a smaller outdoor space. I did not get around to painting the plywood yet. I'll get to it someday. You really don't see it once I put in the towels under here and our shoes under here in laundry baskets. So what we ended up ordering was a mattress from Amazon. I went with one that had more high density foam. And we put in a residential king into the camper. I did not make the bed, that way you could see the mattress. Um, do your research, figure out which one fits you. We did have to, there was this long, almost wardrobe on both sides. We did have to cut that one down in order for the bed to fit. So for us, this works. We Because we had already removed the half wall that was here, we still have our walking space, our clothing still under there if you watched our other videos. The king size bed was just a need and we wanted to be comfortable and we were not comfortable on the camper bed that was here even though it was a brand new Cerna mattress. Although we gave it to our friends and they love it so perhaps it was just that we were used to our mattress from inside. I ended up ordering the exact same mattress that we have in our house except this is I believe nine and a half inches and the one in our home is 12 inches. I don't notice a difference. I'm gonna show you the baskets that we put under there. They're pretty big ones from Walmart. So these are our towels. So we just slide it like that. I can get two laundry baskets going this way and that was done on purpose with where this leg was positioned. And then you can get two more in there plus the two in the back. So I'm able to get at least six pretty big laundry baskets up here for storage, toys, shoes, cases of water. Everything's able to fit under this with the change. And we're still able to fit our outdoor things in that cubby, which goes the whole way through the camper. We just shortened it and we never put the actual wood back up making the walls.